Sure guys, welcome to today's video. I'll be showing you a simple trick to use to build up uh, chord progression, uh, interesting chord progressions. So this will be a lifesaver, especially if you don't know uh, a lot of music theory or a lot about chords. So the reason we always want to have a variation in chord progression is to make our song more and more interesting. So I'll demonstrate this trick or this life hack to you using this project that I have in front of me. I'm not going to finish it. I'll just upload it on my store for you guys to go purchase and play around with it. If you want to finish it, you can also freely do so. Uh, likewise, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, comment, leave a like, and also don't forget to share the video. So this is what I already have. I have a drum kit, melody, um, a bass line, and a constant pad. So I'm just going to play the loop and show you the drum kit that I have. And then this is my bass line. That's the bass line. Then I'm going to quickly go show you the pads. Let me just quickly show you what I've already done. I'll just be quick since it's not the main point of the video. And then the melody. This is the preset I used. And then there are my notes. So that's how it sounds so far. Um, you can tell that it's uh, a deep or deep tech house song, but then it's, it's, it's not yet interesting as of yet because it sounds too constant. Um, the chord progression is not changing. It's just a minor ninth chord. It's a minor ninth chord because I came to my um, scales and then select minor ninth. And then as you can see, it's just like that. It's constant all the way. Nothing changes. Um, also, the bass line is repeating itself and all of that. So now I'm going to show you this trick in order to make variation to your chord progression in the bass line to make your song more and more interesting. So how will you go about that in order to change your chord progression? So this is the trick that I've been using lately and I think it's going to help you a lot. So what I'll do first is let me just clone this. And actually let me cut this. So the first thing to do is just select any sampler, any random sampler and paste in your minor ninth to any root node. So I'm going to choose the root node of the pairs that we have. So the root node was G4. That's the lowest node we have. It's like, let's say G, right? G, so I'm going to go to my sampler, select minor ninth, and then go to G. All right. And then I'm going to stretch it out on the entire rack and then I'm going to transpose it an octave upward to G from G4 to G3 I mean to G5 then from G5 to G6 from G6 to G7 there we go so I'm going to take it down from G4 to G3 transpose it an octave downwards from G3 to G2 so I think that's fine about now so what I'm doing here, these are notes that I'm just going to have on the background so that they get highlighted by FL Studio. So this is what I'm going to refer to as the ghost notes. So as you can see, they are highlighted, all of them. So I know that each and every key or each and every note that I'm going to paste on this piano roll that falls on these gray highlighted notes will be in key with a song. So that's what I'm going to use to guide me in order to build up my chords. So let me just delete that and show you how I came up with these um, interesting chords of mine. So I'm going to go to my break and then go back to the piano roll. So first you have to decide on the first note that you want to have. In this case, I chose D4. 
Let me mute the other sounds. And then you have to come up with a second note on top of it. And then let's come up with the third. See, um, if you can hear, it still sounds in key because all of these notes that are pasted are also on the gray highlighted notes. Now we can move and then make a variation in this chord. It still sounds in key, but then it's up to you and it's up to your intuition whether it sounds interesting to you or not. And then you can go on further, building on it, making variation, make it more sound interesting, but then just make sure that it falls along these highlighted um, ghost notes. So I'm just going to press undo and then go back to what I had originally. So these are the notes I managed to come up with. As you can see, all of these fall under these grayed out notes. So I'm just going to play this for you. So now what you have to do now is also make variation in the baseline. So I'm just going to play the baseline that I did. Let me just put on all the automation clips. So if you, if you notice, um, all of these notes are also part of the ghost notes. These are grayed out notes except for these ones except for these ones because i used um uh, my own judgment to hear what sounds off and what sounds on so i'm just gonna play that for you So if you had uh, been listening attentively, like the, all of this, uh, this whole 30 second loop was playing and nothing was repeating itself. So it is just unique on its own. So that, that's what we actually want in order to make our song more and more interesting. Um, so I'm going to play everything together with the song that we have. Uh, let's play it from that part.
so that's the trick i wanted to show you guys i hope you'll find that to be very very helpful um if you are keen on the beat um just kindly go purchase it on my store feel free to work around it or if you wanna you know keep the same chord progression i was using and make it into your own song or whichever way you want to use the project just feel free to do so um cheers guys i'll catch you on my next video